Hello, thanks for joining me. We've got, uh, got the sun uh, uh, today. That's the, the sun on me shining through the window, which is a, a nice change. Um, I'm in the workshop, as you can see. I'm working on my Bonneville T140. Um, I've just uh, done a compression test on the bike, which I've recorded in a separate video, which I will have posted just before this one. And whereas the, the results uh, came out uh, absolutely fine and they were consistent on both cylinders, um, it was a bit lower than I thought it might be. So I, I just thought that um, I would do a leak down test following that up just to see if there were any leaks from which I'm uh, losing compression. I don't think so because the bike is starting and running absolutely fine and um, you know there's no indication that there's a problem with it. But as I have the equipment to do it, I might as well do the leak down test. So in order to, to do that, you need to get the bike at uh, top dead center. Um, so I'll show you how I, I do that now. This is my leak down tester. And in order to use this, you need an air source, an, air, an airline, which plugs in here. And the way this works is you apply a, a, an air source in here, which will then help you uh, create a pressure. The other end, you use this line, uh, which goes into the, the spark plug hole over here. So you then apply air pressure through the spark plug hole. And this gauge here just tells you how much pressure you've got coming through the line. Um, when I plug it in, I'll set up this gauge, and this gauge then tells you how much of that pressure you are losing. So you need to set this up so that it's calibrated so that the needle starts off at zero then the yellow area that says set and then when you plug it in you'll see how much uh, of that pressure is leaking out from the cylinder in order to do the leak down test you need the bike at top dead center on the compression stroke because that way the valve should be closed should so there should be nowhere for any air to leak unless it's leaking out past the piston rings or through through a valve that's not closing properly or if you've got a, a leak on the the cylinder head gasket and that's the whole point of doing the test to see if you've got any of those problems so i need to be able to get the bike and um, top dead center so to help me do that first of all i've just removed the inspection covers here off um, the uh, rockers box so I can see whether the valves are opening and closing. I've also taken the spark plugs out because that just helps me turn the bike uh, over easily without any, any compression. Obviously I need the spark plug out for uh, putting the pressure test in but take the one out at the other side as well. And uh, another way to, to help me uh, locate top depth centre is I'll zoom in in a second and show you there's a, there's a little plug um, down just at the back of the, the engine where you can insert a top dead center location tool. So this is my top dead center location tool. If you can see that, if it uh, focuses in on, on, on that. And so this just screws into the hole here and this is a little gauge that goes up and down. Now that touches on the flywheel and as you turn the flywheel, there's a little notch when you get to top dead center. When you get to that notch, this just drops down like that. And so you can tell the top dead center. This is where the top dead center tool locates. And that's a, a little plug there. So I need to remove that. Just undo that. take that plug out and then this this tool fits in there just screws in there and uh, you don't need to screw it in tight it's just really screwing it in enough so that that plunger can work against the flywheel okay so we're in let's turn the back wheel now until we see that drop and we're at top dead center. There, you see it jump there. So just check the valves. 
Yeah, so that means on this right hand cylinder we're now at uh, top dead centre and both those valves are closed. So I'll insert the airline for the leak down tester into the spark plug hole here. There's a, a, a rubber washer on there so you don't need to tighten it down too much, just enough so that you've got an airtight seal and then that connects with this airline connector onto the actual pressure tester itself. But I'll take that off because I just want to uh, set up the, the tester and calibrate it first. I've got the airline from my compressor, that's the orange line here, now plugged into the leak down tester and uh, you calibrate it with, the, here's a, a regulator valve, so pull that down so you can adjust it and you turn that to adjust it until this, this dial here is at zero. You can see if I turn it, it goes round and turn it back up again till we get it to, oh, a bit too far, turn it down again. Just got to fiddle about with it. We get it to go to zero. There we are. It's pretty close on zero. Click that in to lock it. That's now all calibrated and ready to do the leak down test. So now what I'll do is I will connect the line from the end of the leak down connector onto the line into the engine. So you can see now we're connected and the dial has gone down just very slightly but it shows that we're hardly getting any kind of pressure loss there at all, which is good, which means that I'm getting a, a good seal on that cylinder, which gives me assurance that there's no problems with the bike. Uh, so I'll do exactly the same with the other side now. And uh, that's really just how you, you do it, the leak down test. Now, if you did have a, a leak, then what you need to do is listen because you can hear the air escaping listen where the air is escaping from if you can hear the air going down the exhaust then it's a problem with the exhaust valve if you can hear it coming out the carburetors or out the air box then it's a problem with the inlet valve if you can hear air going down into the crankcase then you've got a problem with uh, piston rings or perhaps a da damaged piston and then the, the other alternative of course is if you've got uh, a damaged so in the head gasket, you should be able to hear then air escaping out, you know, right somewhere around the, the cylinder head. So, you know, it, you can usually hear them quite clearly, but, you know, if in doubt, uh, you can use something like a stethoscope um, to, to listen more, more closely. But in this case, we're at, oh, ice cream van outside. <laughs> okay, that, that, that's, the, that's the test. So uh, interrupted by the ice cream van there, but uh, hopefully you got the gist of that. So I've uh, just done the other cylinder that came out with very similar results. So I'm happy that I haven't any uh, problems there with uh, leakage in the engine. So with a combination of the compression test that I did in the last video and that leak down test gives me some kind of assurance that uh, the engine's fine. Um, if you watched the previous video on the compression test, I was only getting about 140 uh, PSI in both uh, cylinders. Um, I was expecting a bit, bit higher than that, but to be honest, I've not calibrated those uh, gauges recently. So it could well be that those gauges just uh, um, reading a little bit low, but yeah, it all seems to be fine to me. So I hope you found uh, these uh, couple of videos useful and interesting. I don't usually say this, but I will just say this now. If you are enjoying these workshop videos, please give them a like. It, you know, it helps me on uh, YouTube. And consider subscribing to the channel if you're enjoying this kind of material because uh, you know, there's plenty more like this coming along. So thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully see you again soon. Take care.